So Foxfire is one of Nako's horses. Uh, he is here for the summer and hoping to get some riding. We're gonna be careful with him though. He's got ring bone, just recently diagnosed. So we have Phil the Farrier coming out on Father's Day Sunday, going to check him out. And uh, he's already got copies of his x-rays. So I'm anxious to hear what Phil has to say about our boy. Phil is a lameness specialist, so I feel I feel that I couldn't have a better farrier take a look at um, Foxfire than Phil. So let's go get Foxfire. You're not supposed to walk in front. He's got some learning to do. He's got some manners to learn. There's no walking in front of the herd leader, that kind of stuff. So he has yet to learn that, huh? Okay, get you to back up for me. Back up. Good boy, good boy. So he's got some learning to do, don't you? All right, let's love you. Let's love you. Can I get your nose right here? Oh, you're a good boy. Yeah, can I have your nose right there? Oh, very good, very soft. I think he already knows this. He's probably like, oh my gosh, not this again. Not this again. They're safe and loving place. Oh, very good. Ah, 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 ah. So he is the herd leader in our herd of five now, but I'm the herd leader with him and he has yet to kind of submit to that. So I'm gonna ask him to go to the left. Good boy. Gulliver is jealous, wants some attention. If you're gonna be that way, Gulliver, you're gonna get knocked, locked out. Come on, pay attention. And one and two, so he does not know that stepping in front of the drive line means to turn. Now get out of my space, get out of my space. And he has yet to learn that as well. So I'll probably bring out my training stick in order to show him boundaries. I had a thoroughbred catch me both hind feet right in my thighs one time doing this. So I'm cautious not to smack or push hard when they're just learning this, when they're close in my space. I just gotta get my stick and take care of that. Good boy. And one, and two, and three. You'll learn that in a minute. And trot, trot, good boy. And one and two, he did better. And go, come on, good boy. And one and two and three. At least he stops, that's a good boy. It's a good boy stopping. He just has yet to learn change of direction. Step in front of the drive line, good boy, good boy, and open my door and ask again. Good boy. Just some basics, he's learning some basics today. Step in front of the drive line, one and two, good boy, and back up, back up back up. Good boy. He hasn't got that figured out. That's all right. Let me love you for that. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Oh, yeah. Put your head down. You're so good like that. Good job. Good job. And how about just a little bit of a open mouth there? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I think you need some dentistry. I feel some sharp edges in there. Yeah, we'll talk to your daddy about that. Let's see how you are with desensitizing. You all right with that? Good boy. Good boy. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Oh, back up. Back up. Good boy. There you go. You need a little work with that, don't you? Yeah, good job. Let me love you for that. Let me love you for that. Yeah, and then we'll do a little bit closer. Yeah, good boy. You're all right. Good job. Good job. 
Good job. Excellent. Good boy. Good boy. I'm going to do it up and over. Good boy. Up and over. Good job. And behind. Good job. Behind. Excellent. Excellent. Good boy. Good boy. You're such a snuggler. <laughs> You're such a snuggler. Okay, let's try a little bit of this. Good boy. Stand. Stand. I need to get on this side. There you go. Ah, ah, ah. No. Good boy. Stand. Stand. Good boy. So he is left eyed. He's trying to see me and the, the rope with the left eye. That's why he keeps pulling, trying to see. I need to work his brain here on the right side. So he gets comfortable seeing me on his right side. So I'll have to work 70% of my time on his right side. Oh, good. There you go. See, no one's going to hurt you. You're safe. You're safe. There you go. You're a big boy. There you go. What's going on here? Oh, it's an old scar, it looks like. Mm -hmm. An old scar. Yeah, good boy. Stand. Stand. You're doing great. Good job. Listen to that neighbor's cow. It's all right. No, you need to stand. Stand. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. No, there's nobody there. If there is, it's a deer. Okay, and up and over. Good boy. Up and over. Good boy. And around. Excellent. And around. Excellent. Very good. And back. Back. Leading is important. Half horse length behind. I do not lead horses under the chin. Because what happens if I'm walking like this down the road, here comes the school bus or the UPS truck. That horse, if he spooks, where's he going to go? He's going to go right into me. So that's why I teach a half horse length behind when leading. Now I get in shows, you can't do that. And I'm not talking about shows. I'm talking about your safety on a day-to-day -day basis when you're out in the barn, when you're on the trail, not shows. My teaching is not for shows. It's for your everyday rider and pre-shows for safety. So half horse length behind. And he's got to learn that. He's used to walking right on the shoulder of the person, and I don't like that. It's a dangerous position for me. My program is all about safety for me and the horse. Good boy! He learns quick. He's a well-trained horse. He's just here getting my program, you know, the foundation of my program put on him. And we're going to hit the trails one of these days, huh? Real soon. I got to get a saddle for him, see how it fits. We got the saddle on Jet yesterday. And it did, he did great. Jet did great with it. And we'll be working with this boy soon with the saddle in the next day or so. And ho. Ooh, back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. A little more. Good job. Good job. Got to reward him for the smallest try, the smallest change. Good job. Let me love you for that. I'm going to love him up on this side since this is his worry side. Oh, you're just such a good boy. Such a good boy. 